I'm Dr. Anthony Harper uh, with the Intermountain Christian News. Blessed to be here again in Jerusalem. What an, an eventful week here. We have Vi Vice President Pence coming here, and that is in light of President Trump's recent announcement uh, honoring Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and the embassy to be moved to Jerusalem. This is a very historic event this week, and I'm with M.K. Sharon Haskell. Uh, here in Jerusalem in the Knesset building. Thank you for joining me again. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to me to see you again. Um, and I would just send my blessing and my gratitude uh, to all of the Christian communities in America who are sending their blessing and their prayers to Israel. Uh, we know that without your support of President Trump, uh, and, and asking for that declaration, this thing uh, wouldn't have happened as well. And so we're very grateful for that. We're very touched and excited uh, about this declaration. And obviously this is something that strengthened the bonds and the friendship between us. You know, there also has been something very unique happening. It was in October with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu having a Christian media summit. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he realizes a lot of the media sources haven't been reporting the truth about Israel. He's been reaching out especially to the Christian media. I think a lot of Christian people in America are looking out for President Trump to have a Christian media summit as well. Mm -hmm. These are very, as I mentioned, historic times. Yeah. And uh, as you know, we've been dealing with the UNRWA issue. And that, that uh, you've been doing a lot of work on this and, and exposing this. And, and ever since the White House getting some attention, this, that things have been picking up. Um, what has happened since uh, uh, there was a White House to do with the White House question in October about UNRWA? What has been developing here at the Knesset in uh, Israel about UNRWA? Mm -hmm. So we've actually opened a uh, forum or a lobby uh, mm -hmm. to reform UNRWA. Um, so we've got probably a monthly meeting. Uh, once a month we meet all together, Knesset members, uh, experts in the field of education, experts in the field of security and defense, mm -hmm. and obviously representatives uh, from around the world, uh, including representatives from the United States, uh, to come and hear uh, about the problems and the challenges that we face uh, because of UNRWA and because the way in that they uh, uh, do things um, and so uh, this is something very, uh, this is a big step, uh, hoping our next meeting is going to be productive as well, um, speaking mainly about UNRWA's education system and how they're actually educating uh, for more uh, hatred and more violence uh, between Israelis and Palestinians, unfortunately, uh, and how that affects Palestinians and how that actually affects and actually stop the peace process here in, in between Israelis and Palestinians. Um, so that's going to be a very interesting meeting and I would love uh, uh, to, you to join us as well. There. It would be quite something and, and this, this whole UNRWA issue which is uh, for a lot of people that don't know this says the United Nations Relief Workers Agencies, these schools that have been inciting kids to violence or continu uh, continuing to incite kids to violence against the Jews. A lot of countries have been giving money into the UN, and this money is ending up in this UN agency. Um, President uh, Trump recently, I brought up in my uh, recent White House question in October about pulling out of UNESCO, and I had asked about what President Trump is going to be doing pulling out of this other UN agency, UNRWA, that is causing a serious problem. And there's been a lot of uh, unawareness or a lot of people ill-informed about UNRWA in the U.S. and I've been at the White House about this issue and uh, so much has happened since the first White House question in January with Trump and I, I saw you there in Washington DC that was quite, quite an experience. Yes um, it was uh, it was really good it's really good also that the White House is aware of the challenges and the problems that UNRWA was creating in our region. Mm -hmm. uh, they just came up with a new uh, book edition saying that there's no hatred messages uh, in those books, but we actually translated them as well. There's an expert who's going to come and speak about it who translated the entire script of all of UNRWA's book, okay. uh, where you can actually see that they continue to produce more hatred uh, and calling for more violence against the Jewish states and, and Jews in general. It's very unfortunate because mm -hmm. the first step 
to stability and peace and coexistence is tolerance and mm -hmm. is to accept one another uh, and those messages of hatred um, of racism is something that uh, uh, creates a, uh, a problem this is one of the major barriers towards peace uh-huh yes so it's uh, been troublesome ever since the prime minister has found there was a Hamas tunnel under a UNRWA school. That was just, well, there was one just a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, a tunnel that was found uh, hiding in an UNRWA school. It means that children would probably see Hamas activists digging this tunnel in and out, uh, people coming in and out of this tunnel as well, um, you know, understanding that there's going to be terrorists coming mm -hmm. through this tunnel and murdering Jews, uh, innocent innocent civilians. I mean, and this is something that is happening. There is no way that the uh, the principals and the students and the, the staff will not know that there is a tunnel underneath their schools or in one of their uh, uh, rooms. And so um, covering up terrorist activity, understanding that Israel, uh, in its humane way, uh, we will never, uh, you know, uh, try and, and, and harm students or patients, sick people, uh, you know, hospitals and schools. This is something that, you know, uh, we, we will never touch. And so trying to cover up uh, humanitarian aid uh, to, and that will be the cover up for terrorist organization, for terrorist activity, is a serious problem here and we need to find a way to deal with it. Well, hopefully it will be dealt with it very soon. So uh, a lot of uh, effort to inform people, to educate people about this issue and hopefully this uh, hateful agenda will stop. And uh, yeah. we call on President Trump to, to be more aware of this issue and, uh, and we can make a difference to bring more peace. And Absolutely. So I appreciate your, your help in ex uh, dealing with these issues. Much. And, people, and thank you very much for caring about this issue and creating so much awareness among Americans uh, who actually pay their taxes and these taxes go to the UN or go directly to the Palestinian Authority and sometimes to UNRWA itself. And so showing them where their money is actually uh, going to. Well, these are the ongoing issues that we need to deal with, and it, it's, it's so important to, to look more into this information about UNRWA. You can do a search on the internet about UNRWA, UNRWA, just type in that. There's a Mr. David Bedeen. There's a lot of research uh, about this uh, issue. And so, uh, continue. We have ongoing stories about this uh, issue, and it's blessed to be here with M.K. Haskell, and uh, thank you once again for joining me. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.